Hi everybody, it's Rob Adams with ShutterMag and uh, just wanted to go over a couple of the techniques that we talked about in the article uh, in terms of visual storytelling with video and the first one I wanted to show you was sequencing. It was the first one we talked about in the article and I'm going to show you a video clip here in Final Cut Pro 10 that's just an example of sequencing. It's several shots strung together. There's an establishing shot of the outside of the house and we're watching somebody make some tea here and these are just... Um, shots of the same thing from different angles uh, just to kind of sequence them together and tell the story and that's an example of what sequencing is shots are very short um, and they move around in, in the scene and it gives the viewer a, a distinct perspective from many different angles and that's an example of the sequence the next thing we're going to show you is reveal uh, how to create a reveal shot and basically all that is is a reveal is um, showing you something uh, you know about the scene that you're in and, and basically in the first shot here we're just kind of revealing in New York City and we're just kind of showing that okay here we are in New York City and the reveal came in the form of a tilt up the camera tilted from the bottom there in the water up into the city and that's a simple reveal shot uh, quite simple in nature reveals can come in other forms as well um, sliding the camera or moving the camera out from behind foreground and into uh, to show something in the middle ground or background or to show an entire scene is another example of a reveal and in this case the camera is just sliding from one side to the other and we do see the ceremony set up there in the room two just very quick examples of reveals the next thing I wanted to show you was um, how we deal with b-roll and how b-roll can be a very strong visual storytelling technique and in this uh, situation I'm gonna show you here we have a best man giving a speech at a wedding and we're going to show shots from other parts of the day over it. So I'm just going to let this play for a second, and you're going to notice how the anchor of this piece is the best man talking, and the B-roll shots come in the form of visual overlays that, are, that you're seeing while you're hearing the person speak. Somewhere along the way, Cupid's arrow struck. It struck you hard and good. It was evident that this was no mistake. And now, as you walk this new path with your soulmate, just know that I'm always here for both of you, walking behind you. And that's a very uh, good example of B-roll. We had a person talking, and then we had shots over it, and that's essentially what B-roll is. It's just showing something while you're hearing something else. The next thing we're going to show you are establishing shots, and establishing shots are meant to identify a scene or create a mood. Um, they're used in pretty much any sort of visual storytelling as far as film or video or TV. Um, on sitcoms when you'll see the outside of the building before we go to the action inside that's an establishing shot and in this case establishing shots can come in the form of a still a still shot just like this I'm just showing the outside of uh, in this case the Plaza Hotel in New York City um, animated you do see that it is be uh, has become sort of a reveal shot um, serving as an establisher and um, other things as well can be establishers in this case the snow here that you're seeing is sort of an establisher as well as this overhead shot of New York City so these are just establishing shots um, that tell the viewer this is where we are at the moment in the scene or where we're going to be for this scene until we tell you otherwise that we're going to be somewhere else the last thing I wanted to show you was over the shoulder dialogue and this is something that's commonly used in pretty much um, all movies and films and TV shows and it's just sort of an interesting way of showing two or more people talking without just having them um, facing each other on camera um, so we're using multiple cameras uh, or multiple takes to cut around in the dialogue so it's more interesting visually and I'm going to show you a piece uh, from that same wedding video this time from the ceremony where you can kind of see how the visual dialogue is playing out I'm Michael take you Jessica to be my wife, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad in good times and in bad in sickness and in health in sickness and in health I will love you and honor you I will love you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life so obviously we have multiple cameras happening here, but the over-the-shoulder dialogue is what brings you into the scene. It's a very intimate moment. It's an intimate time. Um, they're saying their wedding vows, and here we are um, using telephoto lenses to kind of bring you into the scene more intimately, like you're standing right there with them. And then over the shoulder, cutting back and forth with the cameras really gives you nice perspective back and forth, like they're talking to each other. So that's the idea behind over-the-shoulder dialogue, is to bring the viewer into the scene and make it more intimate, make you a part of the conversation. So 
I hope these five visual storytelling techniques have been very helpful for you, and I hope you try to employ them the next time you make a video. Um, it definitely makes a difference in the quality of what you're producing. Next month, in our next article, the second part of this article, we're going to tell you how to actually create um, these techniques um, on a shoot. So I'm Rob Adams for Shuttermag, and thanks for watching.